So today we met Agent Boudreau of the Montreal SPCA who agreed to investigate the case of animal neglect concerning a dog and two cats that were left abandoned in a Villemar apartment for a week without being given any food or water. When we arrived on location, the apartment was full of dog shit. There was no furniture, there was a stressed out dog and two cats. Here you can see a picture of the dog and how underweight it was. You can see its ribs. Now here's the interesting part. When the initial call to the SPCA to see how they could help, they obviously said nothing. It's out of our jurisdiction. It's Villemar. However, when I was providing my affidavit, told the inspector this, that the initial caller called about an abandonment issue in Villemar, and they were told how it was not SPCA sector to call the Berger Blanc. He in turn tells me that an uh, inspector uh, for cruelty cases is always available 24-7 at the Montreal SPCA and he was surprised that the uh, front desk would have told us to go to Berger Blanc, which is of actual no surprise to those in the animal rescue world when it's not their jurisdiction whether it be Berger Blanc or the SPCA or MAPAC that's what they're going to use as an excuse not to do their job so Sophie and I ended up bringing the dog to the SPCA and uh, the SPCA has found reason to at least investigate with the intent of laying criminal charges under Article 446 which defines abandonment, leaving an animal, abandoning an animal in distress which was clear by the condition of the dog that he was left without any food and water which is the basic requirements for an animal not to be in distress. So, turns out the Montreal SPCA has the uh, jurisdiction for criminal cases throughout Canada because the criminal code is doesn't matter what jurisdiction you're in and the Montreal SPVM will refer you to the SPCA for animal cruelty charges. Sometimes the cops will open the case themselves, but 90% of the time, they have the SPCA inspectors to do that, so they're not going to waste their time with it. So if somebody runs into situations like this, the most important thing to tell the SPCA when you're calling them to let them know that this is criminal charges and that you want to speak to the inspectors. They have four inspectors at the Montreal SPCA and according to Boudreau, there's one on site at all times. There is Daniel Davenport, Gabriel Boudreau, Robert Damini, and Lucien Agboton, and he's the adjoint administratif, if all the other ones are giving you problems. And the Montreal SPCA has the, uh, the obligation to enforce the criminal code throughout the island of Montreal. It doesn't matter what borough it is. And their powers are far-reaching. They can go as far as St. Jude if it's the lake charges under the criminal code. Now, for MAPAC and the P42, the Montreal SPCA is limited to the Montérégie. It's not the SPCA Montérégie who's in charge of that neck of the woods, and it's not the SPCA Laurenté de la Belle that's in charge of Mirabel. It's the Montreal SPCA who has the P42 mandate to inspect. But when it comes to criminal charges, they can go and lay criminal charges in British Columbia if they so desired. The Montreal SPCA was the first SPCA in all of Canada, even all of North America. And they choose to do their job only for big media stunts and whatnot, which is exactly what the old administration back in 2006, prior to 2006, was accused, that they only did high-profile media seizures 
such as Blainville in those days. And the same can be argued now about the Montreal SPCA. So now that I put the SPCA up on the wall and I told them either you guys lay criminal charges on this owner and you do your investigation, or I'm going to have to lay criminal charges on the SPCA under Article 180 for failing to discharge of a legal duty. So in turn, they're actually going to investigate and see what they can do now. <laughs>